What's up, everybody? My name is Philip Lawrence. I am one of the songwriters for the movie Jingle Jangle, and also I'm in the film as an actor. <laughs> Who knew, baby? David Talbert is one of those kind of people that as soon as you meet him, you are immediately drawn in. He is such a charismatic, big personality. Collaborating with David is like no other experience I've ever had. Uh, he's, he's so sure about what he wants, and he's one of the greatest salesmen you'll ever meet. Like, he is so, the way that he describes what he wants is so compelling. Um, and it's good for us as songwriters because, you know, he is able to paint this vivid picture of what he wants. I, I come from kind of the pop world where we sort of pull ideas out of thin air. You know, he's had this idea for 20 years, and the story is so personal for him and he knows it inside and out that it's it's my job you know to honor that and to make sure that I don't try to put too much of what I want in there and not be true to the story so the back and forth was nonstop. and you know you can't turn off and on creativity it either is or it isn't and if it pops up at four o'clock in the morning you need to be by your phone like what's what, what's up what what'd you need oh you want to change the verse okay all right I'm, I'm gonna call you tomorrow I'll call you tomorrow you know, and that's how the whole process has been. But because of who he is as a person and because all of it has been so much fun, you don't mind. It's, it's all good. You know, wake me up, man. We, we, we got it. It was important for us, especially being as though it's the first, you know, black musical that the world has seen in probably since The Wiz, which is, I think, the 70s. Um, so we wanted to put as, as much soul and uh black culture in it um but still stay true you know some of the early conversations we had with david was you know we were kind of asking him you know what are some of your favorite musicals you know he's spouted out sound of music and oliver and, and mary poppins and all these sort of classic um musicals so we wanted to stay true to that medium as well so we really it was a it was a really delicate dance and i think most of it sort of stemmed from the characters the characters, as we started to dig deep into the characters, they started to tell us what the sound of the movie was going to be. Davey and I fly from LA, we come to London, and we think that we're about to kind of just kind of touch on the original song. And David sits us down and we're like, okay, man, what do you think we should do? Because we think we're gonna be there for about an hour. I got my wife with me. I'm like, baby, we're gonna be for about an hour. We're gonna go, go gallivant around town. We're gonna go shopping. We got a whole day ahead of us, man. We're gonna be good. So we sit down with David, and he's like, you know what, fellas, you know what I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You know, he, look, like, go with me here, here's what I'm thinking. So I got to drop my voice a little bit. Here's what I'm thinking. What do you think about doing an entirely new opening number? What do you think about that? Yeah, okay. And I'm, I can, you, you think y'all can do that in about two days? <laughs> like, man, you, you crazy. Why are you crazy? And that's how it happened. So we, in the moment, had like a day to kind of throw something together, and we created this song that really encapsulates, I think, what the movie stands for. And it's about seizing your opportunity, belief in yourself, that, that, that better days are on the horizon, and it's such a great through line as we move about, you know, the, the evolution of, of Geronicus and who he is and how at the end of the film, he'll be able to touch back on the importance of that moment in the beginning. You know, I think one of the reasons why we work so well with David is that he's an on-the-fly kind of guy, and he's not beholden to his own script. He's such a team player, and he's such a um, embracer of other people's ideas about what he wants. And that's how I am. You know, I've built an entire career on collaboration. You know, my partner is Bruno Mars, and we've written tons of songs, and we kind of just dive into the studio together, and we're, it's always a back and forth. And so when David and I kind of in sync had that same sort of vibe, it was so, it was so familiar to me. I was like, oh, man, this is like what I've always been doing. He'll throw out something, I'll throw out something, and it just works. I said, I said what, what do you think about this? And I always have my uh, recorder on my phone. I said, what do you think about this? And I started, don't believe you can to bring yourself up again. Just pick up. And he's like, yes, yes, that's it, that's it, that's it. 
And and that's how like all the songs have been. They've come from this space of the the spontaneous creativity. You know, like I've never been one to sit down and say, okay, what do I, I've never been one to intellectualize creativity. It's always about the moment and like the energy that I'm giving and, and receiving from, you know, the person I'm working with. And so that process, I think pretty much each song that we've written has had some kind of evolution like that. I feel so lucky to be a part of a film with so many talented people you know, from director to producers to choreographer, like everybody is at the top level. And I think that when you have that kind of energy and that kind of experience, it just elevates everything. Watching Ashley, you know, who is this famous choreographer, come in and, 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 and put movement to the music that we, that we created in our small little studio, it's been, mind-blowing really you know and then to, to watch how all of that evolves and then to come to London uh, um, and meet everybody and everybody's so cool and nice and there's no egos and everybody's just having fun and everyone is is collaborative and, and I think a lot of that has to do with the energy that David gives it trickles down you know he's not one that's off to on his own and he's got this dramatic vibe about this director nobody talks to me nobody he's wide open and he's like oh you come over here you come you know he doesn't know a stranger you know what I mean and and I think that that is infectious and everyone feels that and everybody's having fun the song was pretty much done and I was like you know what I think we need to add some backgrounds but just like sprinkles not having any idea that it's going to evolve into what it is now so I was like I was like let me do a little hmm <laughs> hmm yeah, Ooh. and he was I like that, I like that, that's good, I like that. And I was like, okay, let's push that. And then it just evolved into, now I'm one of the pips in the movie, dancing around with choreography, and it's just, it's all of it is so surreal for me, you know? You know, I came to this project sort of thinking a certain thing about what the recording process was gonna be. Um, I had yet to work with actors and people that really know how to interpret a song and deliver it in a way that I don't think I've ever experienced before. So coming here and finding out, you know, oh, now Forrest Whitaker is going to be cast as Geronicus, mind blown. Anika Noni Rose is going to be mind blown. Madeline, who, who we met in New York, and as she interpreted the, the song that we had written, mind blown like all of these actors are storytellers the first time that we workshopped this small little songs we're calling it over and over and i saw forrest perform it and he didn't even know it really but it was so authentic and it was so real and, and it was just night and day from any experience I've ever had with a song that I've written. He, was inst he instantly took us to that place of pain, regret, sorrow, all of the emotions that we had when we were writing it and that we wanted to try to convey, he instantaneously captured. So passionately and so vividly was able to express that. That's something, that's a moment, and there have been many moments with this movie that I will never forget. To be able to tell a story where everyone is brown and it's not a typical story, and it's, it's this fantasy world and imagine, you know, this, this world of imagination and, and dreams and, and belief and possibility and all of these themes that we hold so dear as part of the human experience. To be able to see that and to think about my children and, and my friends that have a little black boy in, in California or in Indiana that can identify with someone on camera and say, man, maybe I can do that. It's really, really important. It's so, it's so necessary. You know, we, we all aspire 
to be great and to have an opportunity to live our true life. And a lot of times, until we see it, it's hard to imagine it. And then, of course, John Legend, who is a legend, uh huh, John, uh, to be a producer on this with you know with him and and for him to deliver the song that he did, which is you know one of my favorites in the film as well. Um, it's it's a dream come true. It's like you know like in the NBA they talk about the dream team. Like I feel like we have our own little dream team here. My ultimate hope and goal with this movie is that people leave more inspired about their lives than they did before. That they come away feeling like anything is indeed possible. One thing that really moved me and excited me, you know, when I first met David, um, as I heard him talk about his producing partner, you know, who was his producing partner? And he kept referring to his producing partner. And I found out that it was his wife. And it's just such a beautiful thing to watch a couple um, especially a black couple, united um, on a creative front and to come together to create this amazing experience for so many people. And, you know, it's really inspiring, especially for my wife and I, who are, we're going to be producing partners as well, to see an example of not only a successful career relationship, but also successful marriage too. And I really, really look up to David and Lynn uh, for all that they bring to this project.